What is the best antivirus software to date for Windows? Now in today's video, I'm gonna run through and rank what in my opinion are the best antivirus programs to use this year. These are my opinions, however, they are backed by both my own data and combining that of online test websites, plus real world experience of using and testing them on my own machines over the years. Because if you just went by like the AV test results, then you'd be led to believe that every single product gets their six out of six, which is a weird scale, six, performance score, even though some of them actually perform about 25% worse than others who have scored just as well. And of course, if you want a deeper dive into a specific product, let me know down in the comments below and I'll look at putting together a review for you. So we are going to rank each of these products based on how well they performed, how effective they are at protecting you, their performance, and my own experiences of using these products. And full disclosure here, I have zero ideas if any of the products I'm mentioning have you know any affiliate programs let alone if there are any discounts available but after i shot this video i'm gonna hunt around and link to any discounts that i can find for each one and of course if you disagree with any of the rankings do feel free to explain why down below in the comments and i'll do my best to respond to each and every one of them so first up let's start with the one that everyone has by default as it comes with windows and that is windows defender now windows defender is an interesting one some people believe it belongs up here in the s tier and some people believe it belongs down here in the trash but based on my testing, it's not the worst, but it does lack some of the features that others include. And the benefit being that it does offer some of the best performance of antivirus products. And with an interface that's obviously embedded more into Windows, it does run very smoothly. So I'm actually gonna put Windows Defender into the B tier just to get us started. It's a good baseline whilst we go through the others. F-Secure is next, and this one is from Finland, which is actually based on the Bitdefender engine behind the scenes. It's very, very good in terms of its protection, though it can have a slight impact when copying files and in some other kind of general performance issues. And because of this, I'm gonna also rank this in the B category. Let's do Bitdefender next because that's related to F-Secure. Now Bitdefender is one that I've used for probably the longest time amongst everything here, including with my IT company when I used to run that. It's ransomware detection is pretty solid. The interface is good. There's not a big performance impact, but it's not perfect, of course. So I'm gonna rank this as A for the outstanding levels of protection that it offers. Now next we have Avira with this little umbrella down here. Now it's a very popular free antivirus product. It is good at detecting things. The new UI is welcome, but it does miss a lot of features that others have. And it also has some performance issues that I've seen as well. So this is gonna go in at the level C. McAfee, now McAfee is next. And this is probably one of a few which either come pre-installed on your computer or are very heavily pressured to install with you know, all sorts of pop-ups and shortcuts pre-installed on your computer. And honestly, McAfee for me, just hasn't been very good. It's bloatware in my experience. It slows down your computer. It also doesn't perform very well in terms of actual protection. And it also has a nasty habit of popping up with notifications to forcing you to upgrade to a higher tier, even though you're on a paid for plan. So for me, honestly, I'd pass and put this down here right at the bottom tier. I say Windows Defender is a better option here. So this goes down the bottom. Speaking of which, let's do Norton because Norton is another one that gets bundled with many computers. And the most frustrating thing about Norton is that it's okay at telling you got a virus, but it's pretty poor in my experience of actually removing them. Now I also find that it just bogs down the system performance too. So I'm actually gonna put it down here in the C category. It's slightly better than McAfee, but, um, but yeah, it's not as annoying. Next up is AVG. And this one's been around for, for years and I'm sure we've all heard of it before. Recently bought by Avast. It has some good detection features, but they're not as strong as Bitdefender. So this means it's gonna go into the B category. And Avast, like I just mentioned, they bought AVG recently. So essentially it's the same engine, same protection with just a slightly different interface. So again, this will sit next to AVG in the B category. Next up, we have got ESET antivirus. Now ESET actually has a pretty good protection with good detection rates, good removal, low impact on system performance with a couple of exceptions around installing applications and also slowing down websites. And it's also good at removal. It's not as good as Bitdefender in the A tier. So I'm gonna say that ESET lives in the B tier of products. Kaspersky next. And this is one that is surrounded by huge, huge political opinions given its origins, but I don't wanna kind of get tied up into making a video around political opinions. I only wanna concentrate here on the facts of how good the protection is. And the truth is, Kaspersky's product is very, very good. It offers probably the best levels in a product that I've seen out of all the other products here. It has great detection rates, it's good at removal, its rollback features are good, it has a really clean UI as well. So this product would actually sit in the S tier based on just pure facts. But just be aware, of course, that Kaspersky has been caught up in the whole Russian war thing. However, since then, they have provided a transparency report online. They've also conducted a number of independent reviews that have confirmed that you know, the product itself 
is Sounds. They've moved all their data processing and storage services to Switzerland, which is one of the best places in terms of data sovereignty. But this hasn't stopped many countries still from issuing warnings to uninstall and replace Kaspersky with another product just due to risks that you know, Moscow could force Kaspersky's hand into something. But we're honestly talking here about the type of things we see in movies. So ultimately, it's down to you as to whether or not it's an option for you as well. Because truth is, Kaspersky is a good product. It's just got bad origins. So I'm kind of unsure as to whether to place this in the S tier. You know, had Russia not attacked, then it would sit in the S tier. But given that pretty much every other country is warned against it now, I think I'm gonna have to put it in the D tier. But just be aware of what's going on here. And truth be told, you can be sure that many, you know, US made antivirus programs are under like the NSA's thumbs, just as much as Kaspersky is with the Russia's government. So, so who knows? All I'm gonna say is I'm gonna prepare for someone to tell me how wrong I am down below whether I list it as S tier or D tier. So either way, I've lost. Malwarebytes is next. Now they've been very, very well known for offering their pure malware removal services, but they do also offer antivirus protection along with their usual malware detection and removal. It does a very good job, but it does suffer from a few false detections, which would lower this one down to being just under Bitdefender. So that's going to rest in the B tier. And then finally we have Sophos. Now this is one that I've used for many, many years. Also great protection, great features, a nice interface, and it performs well. So actually I'm gonna put Sophos up alongside Bitdefender up here. So there you have the rankings. Let me know your thoughts down below this video on whether you thought that was right or wrong. I'm sure I'm wrong on Kaspersky on all counts anyway. And also there'll be links down below to any discounts I can find for each of these products. But otherwise I'm gonna roll the dice and say YouTube wants you to watch this video next. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.